This week's Nature Australian animal is the quokka. Quokkas are small, strong creatures found in Western Australia, mainly on Rock Nest Island. They're cute and fluffy and much quieter than their cousins, the wallaby. This is Lara and she's about six and a half months old now. So Lucy, what type of mammal are quokkas? Well, quokkas are a marsupial. And the type of marsupial they are is a macropod. And macropod means big foot. So you'll see that they've got feet very much like a kangaroo, but they're just much smaller. Do they have babies one at a time? They have been known to have twins sometimes, but most of the time they'll have one baby at a time. So how long have you been looking after Lara? I've had Lara now for about two months. So when I first had her, she was just 300 grams, so she could just fit into the palm of my hand. And I would carry her around in a pouch much smaller than this, down my shirt. And what that does is me moving around makes it feel like she's still with her mum and she can hear my heartbeat. So that helps to make her calm, but also get her used to me being her new mother. So this is the food preparation that we do for our young quokkas. So they get kangaroo pellets, maize, corn, pumpkin and carrot and then sometimes as well they get celery or they get sweet potato or turnip. So we don't always have to cut it up. Sometimes we can just give it to them whole because that means that they have to work harder to get to their food. So this food is for our three quokka joeys which Lara um, is a half sister to them. So we'll give them some kangaroo pellets which they love. So how many times do you feed them a day? Normally we'll feed them once per day, so we'll normally feed them in the afternoon, but we'll give them one bowl this morning and we'll give them two more bowls this afternoon. There we go. So that's all ready to go for them. And if you want, you can give her her breakfast if you like. So if you just hold it in front of her there. Have you ever seen a quokka before? No. So you can see they've got feet that look like kangaroo feet but they've got a little bit of a rat's face as well and their ears are a much different shape. In the wild, do they climb trees to get their food? They don't climb really big trees, but they can climb small bushes that go up to a couple of metres high. So they can go up a little bit of a way, but they can't climb really big trees like koalas can. Are boys more dominant than girls? Yes, generally you have one male who will be the leader of the group and he'll be the leader of a whole group of females and all the younger males will be under him as well. So here at the zoo we have one male with our four females who are the breeding group and any males we take out of that exhibit. To find out more about quokkas, go to zoosa.com.au.